So, hello again. And dito naman tayo sa ating uh, another discussion dito sa mathematics. And that is the nature of mathematics. So, again, this is me, your Sir Amber, your teacher, your instructor in the subject mathematics in the modern world. Kapag hindi ka pa, hindi mo pa na, napapanood yung iba pang past lessons natin, panoorin mo na. Kasi ito na yung magiging next part ng ating discussion. So, don't forget to like and to subscribe sa aking YouTube account para dumami ang ating mga followers at para uh, updated rin kayo sa mga discussion na gagawin ko para sa ating subject, ay i-click mo na rin yung notification bell sa baba. So, let's continue. So, nature of numbers. Bakit nga ba sinabi, uh, what are the na nature of numbers? No, it's a nature of mathematics. Okay, so according to American Association for the Advance of Science in 1990, mathematics real, real, realize, okay, on both logic and creativity and it is persuaded both a variety of practical purposes and for its intrinsic interest for some people and not only professional mathematicians the essence of mathematics lies in the beauty and its intellectual challenge wow so very very clear naman na the purpose is uh, uh yeah it's the purpose and for the practical for a variety of practical purpose ng mathematics kaya hindi lang siya hindi lang siya para sa mga mathematicians yet mathematics is uh lies in the beauty of the intellectual uh, panglahatan po ang mathematics kaya yes, yun sabi ko nga last, sa aking last video na lahat ng course, courses sa college or saan man may, meron at merong mathematics po yan so patterns and relationship what is the essence of mathematics in patterns and relationship so mathematics is the science of patterns and relationship okay mathematics is the science of patterns and relationship so meaning May mathematics talaga. It is a theoretical discipline. Mathematics explores the possible relationship among the abstraction without concern for whether those abstractions have counterparts in the real world. The abstraction can be anything from the strings of numbers, the geometric figures, to sets of equations. So, sabi ko nga, noon pa, nasa patterns, may, na, may mga numbers, and numbers is a mathematics. That's why, patterns and relationship or mathematics that's the essence of mathematics in patterns and relationship next we have the mathematics science and technology we all know that mathematics is abstract okay kasi mathematics in the, uh, the subject mathematics is hindi siya mathematics na okay math ganito um, but mostly uh, add, add, we have the pemdas ang mathematics ay pemdas problem solving something like that ang mathematics po ay meron pa ang mga iba't ibang saklaw ang mathematics. So we have we have sa major nga namin, 'di ba? I'm a major in math and hindi lang namin ang mathematics as a subject. Yung dinuturo namin. So we, I para ngayon, I have calculus, I have trigonometry, modern geometry, um abstract mathema, abstract algebra, number theory, ano pa ba? Uh, modern geo, okay? We have plane and solid geo. We have the probability statistics. Yeah, so yun yung mga sa uh, mga top uh, mga subjects under the subject mathematics. It's okay. Kaya sa nabing mathematics is abstract. So I will give you. I will give you a video or a link. Send you link with a link. Na ano nga ba yung mga natures of mathematics? Its function goes along with the science and technology because science and technology are connected po sila. Okay? Because of its abstractness, abstractness, mathematics is universal in the sense that our other fields of human thought are not. It finds useful applications in business, industry, music, historical scholarship, politics, sport, medicine, agriculture, engineering, and social and natural sciences. So, doon makikita ang mga mathematics wherein those are sciences-based na courses. Okay, so, di ba? So, science, science and technology, nas, na, as a subject, meron tayong physics. And physics is a major subject ng mathematics. Kaya, mag, uh, magkasundo at magkasundo sila. 
So sabi dito sa pagkikita ng mga ang mathematics, we have in business, industry, music, historical scholarship, politics, sport, medicine, agriculture, engineering, and social and natural sciences. So we'll see kung ano yung mga yon. So mathematical inquiry. Normally, people are confronted with problems in order to live at peace. This problem must be solved using mathematics to express ideas or to solve problems involve at least three phases. We have the representing some aspect of things abstractly, manipulating the abstractions by rules of logic to find the relationship between them, and seeing whether the new relationship say something useful about original things. Mathematical inquiry. Ito yung you want to solve problems using mathematics, and that is the problem solving. Yan yung yan ay pumapasok ang problem solving. So in order for you to solve some problems, mathematically, so gagawa ka na ngayon ng mga techniques or steps. Okay? Soon, madidiscuss natin ang problem solving. We have also abstraction and symbolic representation. Mathematics thinking often begins with the process of abstraction. That is, noticing a similarity between two or more objects or events, aspects that are have in common, whether concrete or hypothetical, it can be represented by symbols such as numbers, letters, other marks, diagrams, geometrics, constructions, or even words. So, ano nga ba ang tatawag na abstraction and symbolic representation? Sa mathematics, we do have lots of symbolic representation. Ano yung mga yun? Ano yung tawag natin sa mga sinasab natin na letters? That is the variable. And variable is under mathematics, di ba? Instead, yung mga X, Y, Z, A, mga ganun, ang tawag natin sa kanila is variable. Ano ba ba yung mga symbolic representation natin? Doon sa mga symbol sa geometry, yung uh, symbol ng congruent, symbol ng equal sign, symbol ng addition, subtraction, okay, symbol ng mean, median, mode, those are symbolic representation. Instead of writing the literally yung name nila, meron tayong mga symbol. Parang sa triangle, instead of you you will uh, write the triangle literally na spelling magdrawing na maliit na triangle and that kapag mat, sa mathematics sa aming mga sa mga mati, ma, sa mga mathematics students alam na nila yan na that is a triangle ganun po yon so ayan more on geometry yan and sa mga sa algebra naman we have the uh, the the mga symbols we have the greater than less than diba instead of writing the greater than word or less than no, na literal na isusulat mo you will just input the symbol na ganon at saka ganon or not equal, equal mga ganon po yun so that is abstraction and symbolic representation so matima next is manipulating mathematical statements ito na yung mga pumapasok naman ngayon dito yung if and then statements if blah 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 then blah 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 yan yung mga mathematical statements natin So after abstractions have been made and symbolic representations of them have been selected, those symbols can be combined and yeah can be combined and recombined in various ways according to precisely defined rules. Typically, strings of symbols are combined into statements that express ideas or propositions. So ito na yung mostly sa mathematical statement. Di rin lumalabas yung mga If and then statements natin. So yon pag may mga simbol sa tayo, meron yung mga ganon ganon. Ayan. So dumam mimit natin ulit yan sa next chapters ng discussion natin. Okay, application. So application. Mathematical process can be lead to a kind of model of a thing from which insights can be gained about thing itself. Any mathematical relationship can be arrived at. By manipulating abstract statements, may or may not convey something truthful about being modeled. So, ina apply natin yung dini discuss natin sa mathematics, sumaka yung mga yung problem solving. Okay, kapag malamang magets mo na yung process, so yapply mo na. So you need to solve na solve solving 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 ganon. So that's application. Ayan. So those are the natures of mathematics. Okay. Now let's move to the role of mathematics in some dis disciplines. Ano nga ba yung mga role ng mathematics sa iba't ibang discipline or mostly sa mga cor courses sa college? So mathematics is offered in any college course. Sabi ko kanina kahit anong kurso ka man, meron at merong mathematics diyan. Okay? 
So, mathematics is offered in any college course. Kahit anong kurso ka man, meron at meron mathematics yan. It is found in every curriculum because its theories and applications are needed in any workplace. That's why students can stay away from attending math classes. There has to be mathematics in the real world. This subject always bring life to any persons or professionals. So, lahat man yan, kahit saan kurso ka pumunta at meron, meron at meron mathematics dyan. Diba? Parang kayo, you are criminology student, pero meron kayong man. Ayan. So, that's why mathematics is very authentic talaga na lahat sa klaw niya. Okay. As posted by Angel Ratnabai in 2014, mathematics is not only numbers work or competition, but it's more about forming general generalization, seeing relationship, and developing logical thinking and reasoning. So here are the some examples of our main some main disciplines in which the role of mathematics is widely accepted. So ito yung mga sa nagagamit ang mathematics na isa iba't ibang discipline or courses. So first, mathematics in physical sciences. So physical sciences, ang unang papasok ng topic sa math is uh, na subject is the physics. Okay? In physics, every rule and principle take the mathematical form ultimately. Mathematics gives a final shape to the rules of physics. It represents them in a workable form. So mathematical calculation occur at every step in physics. So physics, mathematics po yan. So chemistry, ano nga ba yung nakikita sa chemistry yung mga uh, nagkocompute tayo ng, yung sa mga uh, uh, doon sa pag, di ba pag nagalab tayo sa laboratory tayo, di ba nagkocompute tayo ng mga, sa mga mixtures, sa, uh, doon sa periodic table, yung mga atomic mass, atomic, uh, mga ganon, di ba? So meron at meron math doon. So math is extremely important in physical chemistry, especially in advanced topics such as quantum or statistical mechanics. Quantum relies heavily on the group theory and linear algebra requires knowledge of mathematical or physical operators as Hilbert, spaces, and Hamiltonian operators. Statistical mechanics relies heavily on probability theory. So, yung probability is statistics. So, we have the Hamiltonian space and Hamil uh, Hil uh, Hilbert space and Hamiltonian operators. We have also the linear algebra na subject. Yung quantum, mga ganyan. So, yun yung sasabi natin na mathematics in chemistry. Next, we have also the mathematics in biological science or biosci. Okay. Or magbabayo sa biosci. So, biolog, uh, bio -mathematic, um, biomathematics is a rich, fertile field with, with open, challenging, and fascination problems in the areas of mathematical genetics, mathematical ecology, mathematical neuron, physiology, development of computer software for special biological and medical problems, mathematical theory of epidermis, use of mathematical programming and reliability theory in biosciences, and mathematical problems in biomechanics, bioengineering, and bioelectronics. So, doon nagagamit naman ang mathematics. So, sa biosciences, yung parang, uh, isa na yung pa para pagmalaman yung age ng isang puno. We have the carbon dating. I don't think if that is under science, uh, under bio. And we have also doon sa mga genetics, yung unit square natin. So, mga genetics na ganun. Yun, doon nagagamit ang ating Ano gamit ang mathematics uh, na subject doon sa, sa discipline or sa course na biosciences. So, um, relax lang and uh, see you next video. Okay? Alet. So, marami pa. Marami pa. So, upload ako mamaya. Bye!